Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Valovic and Esther. Say hi, Esther. Esther, look over here. Look at the camera. Say hi. Hi, boys and girls. We have already learned the three things all animals need to stay alive. Who can remember what animals' three basic needs are? Food, water, and shelter. And animals find all of their basic needs in their habitat. They find everything they need to stay alive right where they live. Today, we're going to learn more about animals and plants who live in the pond habitat. Listen to find out how pond animals find food, water, and shelter in their habitat. Here is the title page. Do you see the title? Life in a pond. Can you find the word A? Good job, just like the letter A. The author is Carol Linding, so she wrote the book. She wrote the words in the story. She also is the illustrator, which means she made the pictures. What do you think she used to make this picture here? Do you think she used paint, a camera, or a pencil? Yes, she used a camera. You're going to see lots of photographs that she took throughout the book using her camera. Here is the table of contents. We have talked about this before in our nursery rhyme book. The contents are the things in the book. So this page tells us what the contents of our book are. It tells us what's in our book. These words tell us what is on a certain page of the book. And the numbers on the other side tell us the page where we can find these things. If I want to learn more about pond plants, I would turn to page 14 in the book. What are ponds? A pond is a small body of still, shallow water. Shallow means not very deep. Most ponds are very shallow. They are not deep like the ocean. Ponds are found in many parts of the world. Ponds form in forests, on farms, and in cities. Ponds are smaller than lakes. So as we just heard, boys and girls, ponds can be found in many places, like in parks, in the woods, or on a farm in the middle of a field. Have you ever visited a pond before? Pond animals. Many kinds of fish swim in a pond. Fish breathe through gills. This is a picture of a fish right here, and this fish has gills that let it breathe underwater. The gills are found on the side of the fish's body, right behind their head. Humans cannot breathe underwater. We have lungs, not gills. The pond is providing shelter for the animals like this fish here. Ducks swim in the water. They eat insects. Ducks also dive underwater to look for food. Which basic need are the ducks getting from the pond in this picture? That's right, they are getting food because they are eating the insects. Frogs kick and swim in the water. Frogs eat insects. Which of the basic needs is the frog finding in the pond? That's right, they're finding food just like the ducks because they are eating insects too. Pond plants. Water lilies grow in ponds. Their leaves flow on the water. Their flowers bloom. Remember a plant has basic needs just like an animal, but their basic needs can be a little bit different. They get nutrients from soil, they need air, they need water, and they need sunlight. Which of the basic needs is the water lily getting when it spreads its leaves on the top of the pond? The leaves are getting sunlight and air when they sit on top of the pond like you see in the picture here. K 
cattails grow in ponds. A cattail is a plant with a fuzzy brown tip. The tip looks like a cat's tail. Remember, plants need sunlight to grow healthy and strong. Cattails are getting sunlight all around the pond in this picture here. That will help them grow healthy and strong. Sunlight shines through shallow pond water. Sunlight reaches plants that grow on the bottom of the pond. So there are plants at the bottom of the pond that we can't even see in the picture here. Living together. Many plants and animals live together in ponds. Animals find food in ponds. Plants need pond water to grow. Ponds are full of life. What two animals do you see in the illustration here? A raccoon and a frog. At the end of our book, there is a glossary. A glossary tells you what some words mean that you found throughout the story. For example, when we were reading the story, we heard the word gills. And gills are openings on the side of a fish's head. Fish breathe through gills. Another word that we read in the story is insect. An insect is a small animal with a hard outer shell, three body sections, six legs, and two antennae. Most insects have two or four wings. We also heard the word lake. A lake is a large body of water with land on all sides, bigger than a pond. We heard the word shallow. Shallow is not deep. Most ponds are shallow enough for sunlight to reach the bottom. And the last word is still. Still means quiet, calm, or without motion. And ponds are usually very still. Then over here on the other side, we have other books that you can read to learn more about ponds and a few internet sites where you can find out more about ponds.